I think this is a really exciting time to pursue a career in the field of breast surgery. More so than any other field I could think of, things are changing really fast. There are new innovations all the time. And I think back to when I was a medical student to where we are now, we really have come a long way and we continue to move at, at a fast pace. My name is Dr. Michael Zeidman. I'm currently the site director of breast surgery at Mount Sinai, Brooklyn. And I completed my breast surgical oncology fellowship at the Dubin Breast Center at Mount Sinai in 2019. The Breast Surgery Fellowship Program at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai has a proven track record in training exceptional breast surgeons with a focus on unparalleled clinical excellence, educational rigor, and ever-evolving advances in surgical techniques. Fellows who complete their training with us are very well positioned to be leaders in the field. You can learn by watching, but you can learn a lot more by doing. When you get a lot of autonomy early on, it helps you build confidence, and it helps you build that skill set faster than just by merely watching someone else do it. And here at Mount Sinai, I was treated as a colleague from day one. I wasn't looked at as a trainee. My opinion was valued. And I think that really helped me in terms of building my confidence as a future breast surgeon. Our center was designed with the primary purpose of delivering multidisciplinary care. And as a fellow, multidisciplinary care will define all aspects of your training. As you rotate through surgical and non-surgical specialties, you will not only work with experts dedicated to teaching, but you will also experience ongoing collaboration under one roof between surgeons, breast radiologists, oncologists, pathologists, and other specialists. You will find that we are dedicated to treating the whole individual, and you'll work with psychiatrists, psychologists, and social workers who provide essential support for our patients. During the medical oncology rotation, the fellows are exposed to all aspects of breast cancer treatment for all subtypes and stages of breast cancer. They are intimately involved with patients in the medical oncology clinic. You're really seeing all facets of what the patients go through, and it really gives you a perspective from the patient's standpoint, which we kind of lose as surgeons. We don't see everything that happens behind the scenes. So I thought that was a very valuable experience for me. We make sure to do a tremendous amount of didactic teaching during the rotation, such that the fellow, by the end of the rotation, is frequently able to independently come up with treatment plans for both early and late stage breast cancer patients. In addition, we make sure that the fellows are exposed to the many clinical trials that are ongoing within medical oncology, so that they have a great understanding of what are the key open questions that are the subject of ongoing research in our field. We have the Mount Sinai name behind us. We have the access to an entire research department that helps us perform great studies on research topics that we're interested in. We are at the cutting edge of innovations that are coming out in our field. And it's very exciting, not only to be in this field, to be, be training at a place that is on that leading edge. For example, here at Mount Sinai, we were the first to lead the way on, on 3D mammography. Dubin's breast imaging capability is second to none. We offer the latest diagnostic tools, including artificial intelligence, to fine tune diagnoses. Our breast surgery fellows spend time with us to learn how we can aid in precision surgical approaches and optimize patient outcomes. Another advantage of our program is that you will be the only fellow. You will work with an individual surgeon for blocks of time. This apprenticeship model allows for continuity of care in that you will operate on patients whom you evaluated in the clinic. Being the only fellow also facilitates continuity of care across various rotations. As an example, if you encounter a patient undergoing neoadjuvant chemotherapy during your medical oncology rotation, we encourage you to scrub in their surgery regardless of which rotation you are on at that time. You will basically shadow one of the breast surgeons here for a month and see what life is like as an attending. Uh, and I really like this model because you're training to be an attending. You need to see what you know, the ins and outs are as far as what your future job is going to be. 
Being located in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, our program exposes you to patients from every socioeconomic background. You will care for patients with the smallest radiographically detected cancer to those presenting with locally advanced disease. During a rotation in Elmhurst, Queens, you will treat patients from one of the most culturally and linguistically diverse neighborhoods in the country. Having the opportunity to train in both settings makes you very well prepared to become a competent breast surgeon wherever you go after training. I left this fellowship program with absolute confidence that I can be an excellent breast surgical oncologist, not just in an academic setting, but wherever I decided to go. But I decided to stay on at Mount Sinai because I loved working here and I loved working with the people here. I very much appreciate your interest in the Dubin Breast Fellowship at Mount Sinai and look forward to meeting you during our upcoming interviews. Thank you.